Hello, listening audience. I'm Tom Romito, a board member of Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society. I'm standing here at Cle Cleveland International Film Festival with Patrick Shepard, one of the directors. Hello, Patrick. How are you today? Hi, Tom. I'm well. Thanks for uh, coming on over this morning. My pleasure. Patrick, Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society is a proud community member of Cleveland International Film Festival for five years. Mm. So tell me, what are the benefits for other organizations that become uh, community partners of Cleveland International Film Festival to both of them and to you? Oh, sure. Well, uh, we uh, are so fortunate that we have the mission to present the newest and best films from around the world exhibition, and we help our audience learn something along the way, education. So those are the two primary goals of our organization. And uh, the great thing about uh, independent and international film is that there's so many different topics uh, that are addressed over the course of our 12-day film festival, which this year runs from uh, March 29th through April 9th, 2017 at Tower City Cinemas. Um, and of course, we always have films that have some type of environmental tie, which is why we're delighted to partner with your organization once again this year. And it really is a mutually beneficial relationship. So we offer uh, the community partners, the nonprofit organizations, a platform to uh, promote their organizations, talk about the work that they do, uh, perhaps solicit, you know, maybe get some more volunteers or some more interest uh, and more support overall. And then we just ask for uh, promotion of the particular film to which the organization is connected and promotion of the overall festival. And, and it's a pure trade arrangement uh, completely. Well, thanks so much, Patrick. Tell me, what challenges does the Cleveland International Film Festival face in attracting organizations to become community partners? You know, it's, it's actually, um, it, it can be challenging because there's so many great organizations out there every year, but we don't make the films, we just exhibit them. So, uh, you know, there, there are organizations that we're unable to partner with this year just because there's not a film that makes any type of sense. But, uh, of course, you know, next year we'll be back at it again and maybe there will be films. Uh, but with, with the organization like yours, I mean, there's often an environmental film that would make sense. So we're sure. delighted to partner with you once again this year. So it's about alignment of the film with the organization. Right. There has to be a connection with the mission and work of the organization and the content of the film. And sometimes it's just a complete home run. It makes total sense. Sometimes it's not a, it's, it's not a home run, but it's, it's, it makes enough sense that we do the partnership. But sometimes, again, there's, just, there's, there's not a film that some organizations can connect to. Well, thanks so much. Tell me, what should people, the audience, know, think, feel, and do in order to make a decision to come and see a movie at Cleveland International Film Festival? Well, certainly, I mean, I think a lot of people are involved in their community and look to see what, uh, what, or, what organizations you follow and what films that those organizations are connected to. Uh, that's one way to do it. I mean, we, we will have uh, over 200 feature films and mm. over 200 short films that we're going to exhibit over the course of 12 days. And that actually adds up to about 500 different screenings of films. And we run morning, noon, and night. On any given day, we start shortly after 9 a.m. and we go till midnight most nights. But on Fridays and Saturdays, we uh, start films right around midnight. So uh, we just encourage people to visit our website at clevelandfilm.org. Uh, I would say uh, people who have interest in the environment, they should check out the films in our global health competition because those films are about uh, environmental health and personal wellness. Oh, well, thank you. Well, Patrick, where do you want to see the Cleveland International Film Festival in five years? Oh, uh, we just want to see ourselves as uh, an integral part of the community. Uh, our uh, kind of aspirational goal is to make our community a better place in which to live, and, uh, uh, we, and our way of doing that is through a film festival, so we're just going to keep uh, producing a film festival for our community, because that's who it's for. That's a great answer into my, the segue of my last question, which is how does the Cleveland International Film Festival impact the creative industry? Uh, well, I mean, we do raise the visibility of a lot of work and, uh, of, of filmmakers from around the world. And, and while a lot of documentaries are typically from North America, we do have films from over 70 different countries this year. Uh, so you can really 
uh, have the world at your door at Tower City Cinemas in downtown Cleveland. Uh, and you can walk down the hallways and you'll hear all sorts of different languages being spoken. And uh, I mean, it really is every walk of life that walks through those doors at the film festival. Well, thank you. The listening audience, there you have it. Please come and see a movie at Cleveland International Film Festival, especially Tale of a Lake, which Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society is partnering with. Look forward to seeing you all there.